Hello everybody, welcome to a replay of Aero BB Playoffs, round of 16. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's round 16. We've got Riot Killer with his Wood Elves. Um, let's pause it here for a second, actually. Riot Killer with Wood Elves um, and Papo Bao with Necro. They're both from Division 4. And as you can see, Galabranth is in the quarterfinals. So whatever happens, a Division 4 coach will be in the semi-final. So there you go. Interesting. And... Uh, yeah, there are some teams on them, aren't they, here? The Wood Elves have got an Edge 6 catcher, which is bonkers, really, an Edge 6 catcher. Um, yeah, Edge 6 catcher there. Frenzy, Dancer, Tackle, Wrestle, Strip. Edge 5 catcher. Is that a catcher? Can't tell. I think it's a catcher. No, maybe it's a throw because it's the other way around. No, it's a catcher. So they're, they're, they're just standing the other way, even though they're both catchers. Isn't that weird? They've got different stances. Um, but anyway, an edge 5 catcher and an edge 6 catcher. And is that a, a move up tree? Oh my god. So a really nice Wood Elf team, 12 players. And uh, no wizard or anything though. And the Necro have... A mighty blow tackle and a mighty blow. So both blodge step. One with mighty blow, one with mighty blow tackle for the wolves. And, uh. Yep. There's that. And then we've got a move up guarder. We've got a guard tackle. Block guard. Strength block guard. Minus move. So he's just a mummy. This one's just a mummy. And a guard. So he's actually got. It's kind of. It's weird, isn't it? He's got, like, some not very good whites and like bare minimum fleshy and then a really nice fleshy with a strength up and pretty nice wolves uh, expose this ghoul here so surely surely we're blitzing the ghoul uh, that was, or was that the blitz I really like blitzing the ghoul here I really like blitzing the ghoul Because you could have uh, blitzed him up into here, right, and uh, got other things happening. But I guess the blitz was on the wolf, which is okay, right? But it's only tackle; like it's not, it's not might tackle mighty. No, he hasn't blitzed. The, the wolf was just blockable. Okay. Okay. The whole frenzy trap dodge out. <laughs> it wasn't actually a frenzy trap, was it? There's. Uh, he was able to cover it. So I guess the frenzy on the dancer makes blitzing this guy not so good. Hmm. Not sure about this. Doesn't set up the hit on him. If he'd blitzed this guy, it would have set up the hit on him, right? Feshi could have blitzed him, gone to here, and then got this hit, which I quite liked. Well, this, this white's all the way out there. Oh, the white could have blitzed him. So the fleshy could have gone in. The Dublé Skulls eats it. I mean, gotta, gotta hit the tackler this turn, I guess. Oh, he's gone grab, not guard. Do not like grab first. I know some people do, but I don't. I think it's on you know it's good it's good when you root and it's it's it can be good for the one turn. But guard is just good, isn't it? Yeah, I think dodging away from the flesh is best. Yeah, guard would have given him a 2D here, right? And instead he doesn't know. Oh no, I don't like that. Do I not like that? 
Ice Hatch 3. But still, 1 in 9 dodge. I don't like exposing the Hatch 5 here. Here. Could have surfed this guy, right? Could have blocked him to there. And then blitzed him to there and then surfed him. Would have been an idea. Well, I guess it would have been hard to get stuff out in front of the ghoul as well. So just get him, get him back here. Very close to the tree, though. This guy should have been one square back. <laughs> this guy should have been one square back. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. This ghoul should have been one square back. Flip me, guys. I guess you have to, like, uphill. He's not uphill in the tree, so he just instantly got a tree on the ball. Oh! Oh, he's got sidestep. He's got sidestep. I got excited then. So if you hadn't done this hit... You should not have done this hit, right? It was, there was a good play here. Let's go back. There was a good play here. And the play, the good play that could have been done was a very good play. Do you shoot a play, guys? Oh my god, this fucking game, man. Right. So the play was this guy dodges out, stands here. And then the frenzy guy comes in, blitzes the white. Pushes him to here, which pushes into there. So you'd have to put another guy here as well, wouldn't you? No, you wouldn't. No, he pushes him into there. Yeah, no, 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 that's right. And then you're hitting him from here. So yeah, so it, all you need is this two plus out. And then, and in fact, you could just block him as well, right? You could, there's another, there's, there's multiple ways if you, no, he, he assisted here. So... You have to put this guy into here. Dodge this guy into here. And then this guy blitzes the white. Pushes him to there. And then the second hit pushes him. Which then chains him into here. And then you get to smash the ball. With your tree man. Which, okay, he's blodge. But it's still sick, isn't it? It's a really, it's a really good play. You still get to hit the tackler with your with your frenzy and stuff so you almost certainly knock him down and then on a plus you might get to hit the ball with and it's only 2d and it might not work but i fucking like it it's pretty fucking cool having a tree in the middle of all of his shit Whereas now it's too late because this has got sidestep. So if it didn't have a sidestep, this would have been good because you could have put a guy in there and then blitzed him into there. And you still get to hit it. Even if it roots, you still get to hit with it. Whereas now, if it roots, you don't get to base the ball even. And like, you have to block this guy right now with a tree. Probably should have tagged the fleshy, right? Because the fleshy's an easy clear. Like, you had to tag this fleshy here. Because without the fleshy hit, he's in a bit of a pickle. With the fleshy hit, it's resolved almost certainly instantly. So that, that fleshy had to get tagged by somebody. He doesn't have any sidestep on his team here. Which is a bit of a problem. Elves without sidestep is a bit sad. And the Necro have got three sidestep, and the Elves have got none. <laughs> Which is, yeah, tragic, really. Both teams have 12 players. 
So that's a bit interesting. It's all a bit interesting. I think the Necro have got to be favourite, right? The only thing is the Elves have got this Ab Six catcher, which <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> Sprint sure feet edge six. It doesn't have. I mean, I think he should have gone sidestep rather than sure feet, right? Should have gone sidestep. Again, just so he's got. Just so he can do one turns that he wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Uh, but the one turn isn't very good, is it? Because he's got to get two pushes. Um, and he's got to get it versus sidestep and stand firm. And the grab will stop the sidestep once. But, uh. Edge wrestle is also a catcher. I was gonna press Z to look at the to look at the position rings, but of course can't do that. Is this naff? Yes. Yeah, I mean, Edge 5 wrestles pretty good, right? You can come in for a ball sack. He's already, he probably already had Edge 5 with block, right? So, or Edge 6 with block, so why not make the other one wrestle? Gives you an uphill to 2 plus into, oh, well, not 2 plus, being on like a 4 plus into a full cage to uphill with wrestle. Interesting. Super interesting. Build, building like more like a gutter than you would. Uh, I don't. I don't like this because uh, if you get the push, you're still stuck, right? I would have rather made a safer blitz, but gets the pal. Gets the pal. Interesting base. Not going for the surf because it's turn seven. <laughs> I've just realised it's turn seven somehow. And now we're going desperation moves. Probably should have tagged that white, eh? Probably somebody should have tagged that white because he's not coming through the middle here, so I guess the problem is he just hasn't got expendable players to do it with. Okay, well. Um, it's not looking good for the uh, for the necro. Gets the pal. Does sidestep away. Oh, what a god tier scatter. Outrageous scatter. But he does have Edge 6. <laughs> so the Edge 5 <laughs> goes downfield. And the Edge 6 will say, well, let me roll some 2s. And double 1s instantly. <laughs> it was literally just 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Is all he needed. And rolled a double 1 instantly flip me I mean, just don't score and foul that guy I think you've got to try and score I think you know a score is that good this guy isn't that good right because he can't score the one turn is the thing wait this is just a block so it's the move guy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G five. Oh, so he can't do it himself. And he dub skulls. Because you can't use more than one reroll. So we've got an instant just try to score again. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. He scatters the ball. Clever non follow so he doesn't randomly catch it. Ball goes out. Rot all. <laughs> Danger for the uh, for the undead here, Necro. One, two. Oh my god! I don't know why I rerolled that first block. 
One, two, three, four, five. Bob it. Two plus. He doesn't even need to move, probably, but yeah. Two plus pass, two plus catch. Easy. Don't say it's over, but uh, yeah, that's the problem. You've only got one reroll a turn, isn't it? You leave yourself up and, and like, he was really open. He probably should have not tried to score. Because mm, it was so likely to happen, wasn't it? You're probably, you're, you're probably right. Uh, probably right about fouling that edge six. Because it's not just about the one turn, right? It's about... It's about him just literally scoring next turn <laughs> and you losing. So yeah, you, you're off, you've are you got to accept that your offense has failed and you have to, yeah, yeah. He had, he had to just admit his offense had failed and try to protect against that at six. <laughs> He's about sending a message. I don't know, it really is. I like, I really thought you go for the score. But maybe you maybe you foul the edge six and then go for the score? I, I, don't, I don't know, man. We can't go back. The sad thing is, it's so hard to go back in this because it just goes random time periods back. It doesn't fucking go by turn. It's so annoying. It's literally so annoying. Like, this is turn eight now. This is turn eight, so you 2D him for a push. 2D him for a push. And you've got a blitz as well, which doesn't really do anything, right? I don't see how you use your blitz here. So it was it was a 2D for a push, 2D for a push, and then a three. A three plus. Oh, the ghoul stood up. So... It's not super easy, is it? It's not super easy. So you've got to block him for a push. You blitz with the ball with the white. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. And then you dodge with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and you just score with the you score with a ghoul. So you stand him up. You don't even need to stand this guy up, you just block. Because you've got two guards. So you block this guy for a push. And then you block this guy off. And then the ghoul just goes one, two, three, four. Or did the ghoul stand up? <laughs> Which ghoul stood up? No, this ghoul didn't stand up. So, the white pushes him to here. The fleshy pushes him to there. And this movement eight ghoul goes one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So it's a pick up and then a dodge with dodge and two GFIs. So it was a pretty easy score, yeah. It was a pretty easy score. But but then you know you could have blitzed with a wolf and then and then tried to uh try to make it safer as well, maybe even get a foul and stuff. So you could have done something to mitigate the failure state as well. So yeah, he made a, he definitely made a mess of that Papa Bao. Definitely made a mess of the turn eight. Um, whatever he could have done could have been better than what he did. And uh, yeah, that was a bit of a brain fart of some kind, wasn't it? And Papa Bao takes. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, Papa Bao messed it up. Riot Killer took a, takes advantage. Now Luke Quicksnap. So I guess you kind of. Oh, he's giving you the flanks as well. So. Is he daquering? Okay. Well, here, I'm normally all for daquering, as you all know, but this setup from the from the necro has given you a fleshy on one side and a fleshy in the middle, and no fleshies here, and you one up. So I think you absolutely one million percent. Bears down the side and score. Easiest two turn of your life there, I think. I think you've got to there. The fact he's just giving you the, the sideline for absolutely free. Man, that's that's a I think that's a bad setup from Papa Bao. Real bad setup. Like that's just too easy. He can get he could have had 
a massively layered cage, like like a, like Hancock did, right? In a, in in his playoff game, he could have just had the whole team. The whole team could have been here. I think team preservation goes out the window when you get this. You know, like it did for me versus uh, versus sick as eggs, right? Like, you know, he gave he let me surf a player instantly. He let me surf a mighty blow tackler off the kickoff. So you've just got to take that. And I think you've got to take this here, I think. I think you've got it. Like, the Dakar isn't guaranteed to work, is it? The two-turn isn't guaranteed to work, but it's very, very, very likely. You get to dominate his strength five, fleshy with your strength six tree, and you get to crush down the side and get a whole a whole team here. Like your whole team gets to go here. Like you've got an add six catcher, he can't screen. He cannot screen against you at all. So you just basically get a guaranteed you basically got a guaranteed two turn. No, on offense, on offense, Keith. On offense it did all I did all right, right? I did all right. But it was just too good surfing a tackle mighty blower. It was just too good. Um, and like, if it was the playoffs, if it's the playoffs, you you know, winning is everything, then right? And I think taking the almost guaranteed win, Dakar has got chances to the Dakar's got far more chances to go wrong than the than the quick score there. I'm sure. Well, I was sure. This doesn't look like the best defense I've ever seen to a Dakar, so maybe Dakaring is fine. Quite like that, going for the tackle. Should have moved all of these moves first, though, as, as we now see him move nobody where the space that is being created. So he should have done all of these moves first. And the other moves that he hasn't done. <laughs> Should have hit the fleshy. So yeah, big big ordering issues here. For Riot Killer. Oh, I don't like just randomly basing that. I don't like letting this guy get sidelined, right? You could blitz him and push him on the sideline. I wonder this guy over here would have moved him there long ago. And I want this guy just not basing. Like this is just giving a hit for no reason. You're not. You're not. You're not really costing him anything. Uh, I don't think. You weren't just asking the question. You horrible git, Keith. You were being mean to me. You were being mean to me. It's because my favourite player died. My favourite fucking player, man. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the team preservation Dakar for the 2-0. Oh yeah, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. No, it was a statement when you said <laughs> when you said team preservation really did go out the window. Yeah, that was <laughs> that wasn't the question. Yeah, I mean the Dakar is better for team preservation generally. But um It is generally better for team preservation, yeah. But in the playoffs, you do what's best for winning, right? It's the one time. You've played this league for 40 games-ish. <laughs> you've played this game. You've played this league for about 37 games max, isn't it? 38 games max. I think you play the league for 38 games max. And, you know, only a few of them does winning come before team preservation and this is one of them right now you're in the playoffs winning comes before team preservation so this was a bit shit not a bit shit very shit again from from riot killer it's the ordering right it's the ordering oh, okay no he's not dodge okay it's not as bad as i thought he's not dodge so dodging him away from the tackle didn't make any difference i was thinking you could have assisted with this catcher right and then done the blitz 
and then dodge this guy out, which it would have it would it would have been better if this guy had dodge, but he didn't have dodge, so I was I was incorrect. It's absolutely fine moving him last. Um, in fact, it's better. It's better doing it this way. Once uh, once I know he didn't have to. <laughs> Where hey Pedro? Where hey? Unfortunately, I had a birthday party, so I couldn't have made that game versus uh, versus sick. Oh, I mean, if only, if only I'd come up with a bullet. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I couldn't do that. That's the that's the annoying thing. I just couldn't do that. What I could do though is take the win versus Corley and Moomin Slayer as being a very, very, very nice person. Uh, Offering to replay the game. Whether the uh, people running it will allow them to replay is a different question. But, oh, well, this is a hit on the ball, isn't it? This is, uh. This is. Looking. Oh, it's. Okay, no, so no. No. No! I didn't like this. Okay, so what I like doing <laughs> was punching this guy. It's a two into a one. It's a two into one, but you've got tackle and he's defenseless. So there's a good chance that you power him, right? And even if you even if you go into a one, it's, you only fail on a skull, right? So so two D, then one D him, and then this guy can dodge for the blitz, and then and then I think that's a lot better than trying a four plus three plus dodge. I know you've got dodge, but four plus three plus is just so likely to fail. This is, this is safer. And it's got a pretty good, like pretty good payoff, right? You're still getting tackle near the ball, and then if you make this three plus, okay without dodge, but you can put in the reroll then, and then uh, I don't know. I, I I prefer this. Maybe this is I don't know. It's hard to justify a four plus three plus, honestly. Um, it's really hard to justify the four plus three plus. Could have even dodged him off and three D'd him, right? That might have been the even safer play, but I don't know. I like that a bit differently. Disgusting chaffs. Nah. If everyone's going chaff, then I I can't go elves again. Are you gonna GFI? Nope. This this is the problem with issue of feet, right? This is the problem with issue of feet. If you're not if you're not geifying now, why are you taking sure feet? It's not doing anything. And it's not doing anything because sure feet's a bit crap. <laughs> Sidestep lets you make one turners that you couldn't make with with sure feet. Sidestep also affects like the game randomly, right? Like just the, the normal flow of the game, having sidestep is better. He has managed to leave the uh, ghoul hit, though, with tackle. But you have to wonder why he did that. He could have been in a cage. He could have blitzed the ghoul first, see where he sidesteps to, and then build the cage around it, right? So, he could have just... He could have had the ball in a cage now. He could have done that blitz first. This guy could have been back two squares, and he could have been in a cage. And instead, he's just letting his ball get hit on two dice. Not just his ball, his favourite player. His favourite fucking player. Which, you know, probably probably shouldn't do that. Tree's doing a good job all the way back here. Forgotten about. So he's trying to power him. I mean, three players on one is fine, right? Take that all day is the flesh is the tree. And now you're dominating the fleshy. So safe moves first. Doesn't mean he means he hasn't got a recovery outside of you know sure handsing it. Puts in the re-roll. I guess he's got to, right? Because he's one nil down. But like what do you do? Like, 
He's, he's one nil down. He had to, right? He just couldn't let him score. Maybe he should have just done the GFIs. Honestly, three GFIs. He's got sprint sure feet. He could have just scored last turn. Does a leap? A leap? <laughs> a leap? He's up. What? What are you doing? <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay. I guess he thought that was a surf. I guess he like didn't see the sidestep and thought that was a surf. Flip me. Yeah. So you know, could have could have just hit him on two dice with wrestle. Um. But yeah, uphilled. You know, uphill with wrestle and tackle isn't that unlikely to get a knockdown. But, you know, that was not good. That was not good. Because you could have just had this guard in here. And then, you know, hit from here. <laughs> and then you've got two dice. So you just had to think it was a surf, right? You just had to think it was a surf. Oh, rolled a one on the pickup. <laughs> Oh, he's gymmed it. He's gymmed it. This is uh, this is my game versus the uh, versus the undead the other day, isn't it? Flip me. I'd rather surfed him. I think. Ah, he's strength three, so it would have been a two and all one. Block this guy first, I think. Because he's costing you a square of movement otherwise, right? Like, you might push him, but then... One, two... Even if you push him, you can push him down and then go one, two... And, like, go over him, right? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess it comes out the same. Oh, he's eight, so he would, have, he would have got one square closer. Yeah, he's movement eight, so he, he would have been here. But my god, what a throw in. But yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, the whole. Kalon hates the whole deserved, rewarded, and deserved thing. That was He went on a, a little rant about it the other day. But that was. Uh, that was. You know, a little bit deserved, right? He, he, I guess it's because he, I guess he thought it was a surf, and then tried to get the surf, and so his reroll was gone. Whereas if he had just tried to hit it, he would have hit it, and had a reroll for the pickup. <laughs> oh, falling glory! <laughs> yeah, it was just somebody. Somebody mentioned something being, oh, you know, like bad die, uh, bad players never punish, you know, or something like that. Or good players never rewarded, or you know, s somebody said something like that. And Kalon was like, oh no, oh no, you shouldn't say. Oh, dead, Apo, dead. Oh no! No, don't make him dead. You've just given him more people to foul you with. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I've made that mistake versus undead before. I think, fuck it, he's dead anyway. And then, oh, whoopsie. I just gave him a free player to foul with. Rot all. My favourite player dead. I guess this way at least you, you get to win, you get you get to have that guy have a chance to win the cup, right? <laughs> He's still got a one D on the ball here with Russell. Not if he fails that. Couldn't he have gone out? Oh no, he's gone through there. Okay. Flip me. Wolf. Surf? Oh my god, he gets to surf the edge six. 
Oh my goodness. Another reason why sidestep is much better than sure feet. Oh, diced. Diced. Comedy mega. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. <laughs> Two, three, four. G, you fight the fouling next turn. Hello, Goliath. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think, I think Papa Bao's setup was really poor, right? Being so narrow, and then also being lopsided with a fleshy over there. I just mean that that just invited a really strong push in a two turn, um, and then obviously Riot Killer was in was in range with three GFIs with with sprint show feet, or he could have just fully caged. He didn't either, and. Uh, Yep. Can't really complain, honestly, about this Riot Killer. That was his last reroll. Yep. I wasn't even paying attention, but it was the last reroll. <laughs> so, Papa Bao is now out of reroll. tell because this is all pretty fucking annoying honestly on the replays it was a GFI it was a double GFI a point as well that's rough that is that's terrible isn't it just take the score. <laughs> you have to win in overtime. Literally, the only way you win this game is overtime. So you have to get, you have to conserve your rerolls before overtime. But he won the toss here, and now with no rerolls, he's got a chance, hasn't he? Because this is just golden goal. This is not uh, Blood Bowl three overtime. So winning the toss is not just half of the battle, it's like 99% of the battle. And uh, because there's no strip anymore, he can, uh, he can go for the wolf pickle. Oh man. By a mover. Stunned the tree as well, outrageous. Hate this, hate this tackler going there. Okay, it does it does stop him dodging off and coming through, but like your tackle is a good like reactive piece, isn't he? I want I want him back here to protect the ball a little bit. Especially with no rerolls. He could be one up, right? He could be one up. To make it a bit harder to put the assist in and blitz and stuff. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Or it would have it would have mattered because that guy did get blitzed and he would have been protected by the guarder. Or if he wanted to blitz the white, he would have had to give up a hit. I guess you don't really want to block this hit though, do you at this point as the necro? And he dodges away from the tackle and rolls a one. <laughs> and oh no, no, it was a three plus. Okay. So now that tackle move looks amazing, but I really liked. Uh, I really liked uh, bringing him back to here. Put, put the a rubbish zombie on the uh, on the tree is pretty good. I don't think running 
all the way around was that good. I think I'd rather just hit him from there and push forward. I guess you don't have to. You're not, you're not urgent, are you, to push forward? What I would have quite vaguely like, yeah, this is fine, right? Here. The problem with this is, like, if you go if you go a bit further forward, then you you know you could you're a bit closer and that much closer to getting it done, aren't you? Whereas this is technically safer. No one's coming around this bottom cage corner, are they? So you don't need anything on here. So you better be more advanced. It it, it does look. It, I mean, don't say it's over. But it looks pretty over, yep. He's got the bond sidestep, so he doesn't need to worry too much about the frenzy. And the dancer. <laughs> I guess there is a dancer, so he wanted the back corner closed, but... And he has got... Not only has he got guard on both cage corners, he's got guard on every corner. <laughs> So, very safe from the uh, dancer leaping. Very spooky block there. Could have been a dub skulls. Rustles that. So I can put the fleshy up. Oh, it's a rotten push, isn't it? Oh, no, it's okay, because he gets to hit him again. It's still a rotten push, because it lets him block off this guy for the tree. Whereas if he pushed him the other way, he wouldn't have had... He would have had to bring in another, another assistant to block the tree free. Oh, he, he roots, and it was a tree blitz. It was a tree blitz, and he rooted and failed the Lorna reroll. Brutal. <laughs> Jesus, Pedro. I mean, it is a bit of a squeaky bum time, yeah, for sure. No rerolls versus Wood Elves is about as squeaky bum time as it gets. Yep. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, it, the problem is he wasted his last reroll. Like, that was a pretty awful reroll, right? 50% of the time you don't even get it, and now you haven't got a reroll for like a leap in or anything. So I kind of hated the reroll there. This guy's not surfed, he's wrestled. Whoa. Also, like the thing is you don't really want to uphill dive because he's got no rerolls, right? So he could fail something, so it's a bit it's a bit tricky. For... Right. Yeah, wrestles are sick for elves. It's completely sick. Foul the uh, foul the wolf. <laughs> it's a bit rubbish, but it's something you could do. Oh, he's not going for it. I mean, it's a bit rubbish without tackle, isn't it? The, the wrestle uphill is is honestly a bit rubbish. You're trying to one in nine him. So I think you do want to just screen. I think this is correct. Just screen like this. Because he's got no rerolls, right? Even the safe dub skulls are probably more likely. Him rolling a dub skull is probably more likely than you rolling the... You know, something like misplaying, giving you something. is probably more likely than you rolling stupid dice without a reroll. If you've got a reroll, then you you know you probably die for the, probably try for the stupid dice earlier. But right now, every block he does has got a chance of disaster, hasn't it? Every single dice roll. 
But yeah, one in nine uphill. You know, it's there's more chance of that working than him failing a one in thirty six. But then he's going to make more than one one in thirty six, isn't he? So. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. The zero rerolls does make it tougher for Riot Killer to decide what to do, right? If if Papa Bao had four rerolls, then you unquestionably go for like a stupid uphill. But with him not. I mean there wasn't he didn't even need to dodge in there, you definitely go for it there, I guess. You don't even need to dodge in. <laughs> so I guess you just go for the go for the uphill there instantly. Okay, give him somebody to surf. Give him somebody to surf. Step back a few squares. Hope he hope he fails dice rolls. Um, you've got to do it yourself, mad skills. You click on your troll, and then you click on the player. Hold, hold, click and hold on the player you want to do, it, and then it'll come up the option to to vomit on him. I think. So he's running out of time here, Papa Bow, right? Like, he's got this surf, but it's turn 23, so he probably shouldn't have gone for this surf that he's gone for. Um, he should have blitzed this guy on three dice to get forward. But instead, he has gone for the surf and not even got it. So yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think he this should, should have just wolf blitzed, right? Maybe even three dice blitzed. But, um... You know, great surf bait there from Riot Killer. And now, yeah, you can make a, a pretty strong K. It's a pretty strong screen, right? You can blitz with him. But he's gone for this angle, which is lucky as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have run around and hit this way, right? But never mind. Oh, he wants the screen in front. I'm pretty sure this is a mistake. You want you want a screen like in front, right? You want this guy. I mean, you know, he's your edge six, but you can just change the orders. You you want them here and here, and then this guy somewhere. Probably good enough, but I, you know, it's your edge six, but could have had the edge five in front. It's like the edge five is just as exposed as the edge six would have been. So I guess you surf and then four three through, or can you go this way? Oh, cast him one two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double JFI. Oh my god, easy. Yeah, so he had to have more stuff over here, didn't he? And again, if this guy was there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it would have been a three plus dodge at least, right? It would have been a dodge at least. The tackler could have been there as well. It would have been a tackle there. So it would have been a 3 plus no, no re-roll. Wait, he didn't have to dodge there, did he? I'm pretty sure he just did a vanity dodge. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that was just a, a cheeky little vanity dodge. Um, but there you go. Does the double GFI gets the win? Um, flip me and he still had to do two GFIs he just did a vanity dodge he just literally did a vanity dodge he still had to do two GFIs I'm pretty sure maybe I'm wrong autopathing yeah yeah classic classic blood ball um, twice over ne not over twice nearly twice as many blocks um so yeah, interesting, interesting, you know, hopefully if they watch this they don't take offence or anything and and hopefully there's some good feedback in there. 
Um, but there you go. Congratulations to Papa Bao. Yeah, Papa Bao was a necro, wasn't he? Congratulations, Papa Bao. Commiserations, Riot Killer. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.